I am Tulelo Nyokong. Um, I work for Rhodes University in Grandstown. I am associated with the Department of Chemistry, but as a DST, NRF, and a Nanotechnology Innovation Center, which I run, we are both associated with the Department of Chemistry at, at Rhodes University. I've been working for Rhodes University since 1992. We are the only group still left in this um, well, if I can put it, that still design new thalocyanins and actually apply them for this, um, for many applications that we are talking about, which include the cancer treatment and so on. Very few people are making these molecules for application purposes, and we are one of the few groups that still do that. That could have put us to, 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 to where we are. In addition, we are the group that links them to nanotechnology. So we are linking what we do with nanotechnology. The challenges um, for this type of work were in the beginning, when, you know, you, in order to do research, you have to have money. And in order to have, to have money, you have to have to prove to yourself. So it's a chicken and egg situation. But once you've proved yourself, you can apply for funding and the chances are Sometimes there are enough agencies that you may get funding from. It's still a challenge to get the funding for many people. It's a challenge to get the funding. Um, also, but we are very fortunate in South Africa in the sense that we can get this challenge. We can get this funding in many countries in, in, in the continent. This type of uh, funding does not exist, and we are fortunate to be able to, to do this high-level research in this country. Um, but apart from that. Really, it's hard work, and I don't consider hard work challenge. So I enjoy my work. Challenges, I think, are gone. Right now, I'm getting paid for having absolute fun. The future for me is that we must get a product going. We must take some of our research out there to form products that are marketable. It's more difficult to take drugs which have to do with human beings. I've now learned that after a lot of work. But if there are other products which can be taken into the market, and many of my current and former students are now involved in trying to get some of our products out into the market. And it will also be a motivation for young people to realize that development and innovation doesn't always just happen in the West or in Europe. Innovation can happen right here. If we just do research that doesn't end anywhere, they will never really appreciate that we can be innovators. And some of our students are coming on board and we are going to be innovators sooner or later. Why I do what I do is because I love it. Uh, people think this is work. I don't think so. I think this is just fun. I enjoy interacting with young people. Maybe I'm trying to keep young, who knows? I, I try, I, I enjoy working with the students. I, I enjoy talking to them and I enjoy helping them. I want them to be the best they can. That is what I do, what I do is to make people who will be leaders in the future, who will be disciplined, who will be honest, who, who will lead. In, in a proper manner. And to me, that is my contribution to the world. My group and I have been fortunate to receive many awards. Um, one of them was from President Tabombeki as Order of Mapungube for our contribution to science. Also significant is this year, I'll be receiving an award for Third World Academy of Science for Chemistry, which will be uh, given in um, Argentina. There are many awards, but those are some of the ones I just wanted to highlight. Um, I would like to thank the NRF for the award. Though it's, it's really not about the NRF, it's about your peers judging you. NRF was for facilitating it. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that um, award. I also wish to thank NRF more importantly for the funding that goes through the DST NRF researchers. Without the funding, we wouldn't be where we are. Many countries are not as fortunate as we are to have a system like the NRF which allows for this funding. We could always ask for more, but we have to be thankful for what we have at the moment. And in conclusion, I would like to call upon two of my students who are researchers and will talk more about their experiences with research and that will probably help motivate young people. Their names on my right is Jermaine and on the left is Mpo. Well, with me, research has given me a platform to explore things that I otherwise would not have done 
And having a great supervisor like Prof makes me laugh all the time. <laughs> the third thing that she says, with all her harassing us, which trust me in the end, as she says, it'll pay off, which I hope it does, has been great. And she's just a role model and a great inspiration. Yeah, I fully agree with Charmaine. And science has been perceived as very difficult and hard, but we have come to this lab and we have experienced science to be so fun and easy. As Prof says, she just gets paid to have fun. So we also in lab codes having fun. <laughs> <laughs>